Yes, sir, Ski. We here for episode three of season three on the Heartland. Yeah, you already know who it is, man. It's the HBK Villain Stop, man. And not only and y'all, the other jets, man. They be faking it, but I need y'all. You already know how we rockin'. And y'all, like I said, we on the episode three of the Hawks, man. Hawk guys, man. I'm ready. I ain't finna keep on going rambling, bambling. You know what it is, man. Go stretch, stretch, stretch. Scratch, scratch. Yeah, I think I. That's the most vital part of uh, exercising, uh, getting that work in. But if you don't huh? stretch, you're going to get hurt. No, you might though. Look at 17, he's looking hurt. <laughs> That's why he's right there. So, uh, so, so we working today. We working today. They working today. <laughs> Big game coming up. Iowa State. My Big style game. of coaching, I believe, is uh, more – I'm more of a teacher. I'm not a yeller or a screamer. I'm not one of those guys. Uh, one thing about bets. me, I never try to be some mm. someone I'm not. He must have used make, to be a, make a the running back. Believe that you're coming the off the football. I see it in the background. I think you have to be authentic in what you do, and I pride myself on that. So I, I try Facts, to coach my man. guys through the situations, through the scenarios. Gotta be authentic, man. Cause the other man, they be faking Teach them through it, talk them through it. <laughs> you already know it. Um, and I think I have a unique perspective, being that I played the position. Uh, so I see, understand I what they're it, seeing bro. and what they're thinking at times, but I also understand from the coaching side what needs to be done. So that, that allows me to uh, teach and educate the guys. t Rob, no. <laughs> he got you. Lee Corso, who he, who he had picked. Yeah, I didn't know that. Hey, I didn't even know that. And college game day was the, I did not know that, bro. That's crazy. So I'm supposed to be tuned in on college game day like I always do. Hey, every Saturday, bro. You Come on, man. I'm a college football head, bro. I wake up about 10, 9 o'clock, man. Cut on that college football uh, game day. I just be tuned in sometimes. I be trying to stay awake. I be trying to, you know what I'm saying, do this and that while I'm, while I'm watching it, bro. But I had my mom do this and my, and you know what I'm saying, my little sister and my daughter with me last morning. So I ain't even really pay attention to the college game day. And then they had games I was on early. Like, remember I told y'all the schedule, it was like 11 o'clock, 11.30 game. I think Illinois was playing Virginia, so I was tuned in on that. But damn, my man, I miss college game day. And seeing that man Lee Corso hitting on Hawkeyes, man, I would have liked to see that. Over the Cyclones, six of the last seven, and nine six of the, of the last, last seven. The single biggest thing is make them make it earn seven. anything <laughs> that they get. You feel me? Anything they get, make them work, make them earn it. And then it gets down to a couple things, right? We're playing with relentless effort the out there. Cannot wear the we're physical, physical, we're the tough, white, and the we white, the white football. jersey with right? the yellow pants. That's yes, sir. Ski. Everybody together, let's get our ass going. <laughs> Well, whether in Ames today or Iowa City. Yo, go ahead, throw the thumbs down so we can put y'all up. You feel me? Let y'all know what it's like to be a hawk guy. We're going to put them up. Let them know what it feel like to be a hawk. How I feel to fly. Yo. I'm going to be flying on that field. Look at Big Pat. Captain, my boy, Matt. Captain. So here we go. The next chapter of Iowa, Iowa State. Look, he about to chip a fall. He wasn't ready. He wasn't really ready. And Taylor gets into a booming kick, a booming punt. Hits at the 10 and is down inside the 10 at the seven yard line. That's what he does. Mm -hmm. See, that's why you special teams, that's that why they play a big part, man. Putting the boys in a bad field position. No, can't get that way. Can't throw it that way, throw it somewhere else. Here's Purdy. Get to him. Hey, I like hey, I like number five on defense, man. I'm figure out his name, but hey, I like number five. He, I think he a linebacker. You know what I'm saying? Give me that. Yeah, Matt. I was so deep, I'm gonna punch my TV. Then he seen the way he catch it like that. That jump was hard, bro. Let's get it with so five, bro. Hankins was on that man, like white on right, like the white on their jersey. That's how he was on his uh, Ritter. Great job, Jackson Ritter. Jackson Ritter. Hawks are at the Iowa State 38. Petrus with a deep drop, throws it left. Yeah, bit pet. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, number 85, man. He's gonna be nice too. Luke, Luke Lakey. I think that's how you say his name. Oh, Lake, Luke Lakey. Six, six, trying to tell you. 
Oh, Le Luke Lachey. Oh, Luke Lachey. Luke Lachey, boy, 6'6", six, six, bro. Iowa finna be so hard, bro. Why? TG. TG. Gonna miss him. Gonna miss him, but you got Ivory gonna step up. Tyler Goodson. Well blocked. I'm talking about we've had trouble getting this blocking scheme down, but this one. Oh, Ivory a senior. No. On that safety. Tough. Newell, the center, will snap it to Purdy. Straight back to pass. Good protection. And a pass is caught and then dropped. Good job there by Trying to Houston. tell you number five, Linebacker Justin Jacobs. Bro, he's hard, bro. Peterson, the gun. Straight back to pass. Justin he Jacobs, hard. 6'4". He had to take that hit. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, he took that one. And Laporta Both took of them took, the hit. took a good hit. Then he, bro, then he fumbled. But he hit the ground, bro. That was going to be two games in a row you see Ivory fumble, bro. He was down, bro. Ivory got to hold that pill, bro. That job be scaring me. Dot him. Charlie Jones. I'm telling you. Charlie Jones got. I think Charlie Jones got the best hands on the team, bro. Trying to tell you. I think he got the best hands on the team, bro. He, I think he proved it at that site. That Hawkeye game. I don't even want to be disrespectful. Put them boys in, in the same sentence as the Hawkeyes. Them boys wasn't ready. Them boys is all home. The snap out of the gun. Purdy with good protection. Throws over the middle. It is caught. And it's running it's in open it's space it's is... No, that's not Hutchison. He's knocked out of bounds at the three-yard line. Darren Wilson, Jr. Just too much time. And look at Riley, man. Riley out. came down there to make a, 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 a to tackle, three. big tackle. There's a snap. They give it to Hall. He turtles toward that goal line, and he is over for a touchdown. My boy Corrin was Iowa there, State. bro. Halftime, Iowa 14, Iowa State 10, and there's a whole lot of football left. Cyclones get the ball with the momentum to start the second half. The Iowa defense needs to get a stop, get the ball back, and wrestle some of that big mo back Iowa's way. Purdy now get puts the ball down. Now he throws yeah, he it deep, bad, and bro. it is it incomplete. Is terrible. Right to the goal line. Great coverage by terrible Matt Hankins throws. again. Uh, here's Purdy. With uh, Jarrell Brock in the backfield, Purdy is <laughs> oh, on that knee. to run a quarterback draw. The Hawks like steak on shit. Well, it was all good. Nigga knocked his glove off when he hit him. As the Hawks get fresh bodies in there, he sacked now. Look, slam to the ground. I know he was low. That, He's like, bro, I'm tired of you. Another one of those gifted young defensive linemen. Let's see if the Hawks can get him again. First and ten at the Iowa State six as Purdy awaits the snap. Tell you, get to run straight ahead with no ball. breeze. Get him down. Oh, the ball's Bumble. out. The ball's out. Iowa picks it up. Touchdown. Touchdown, Iowa. Touchdown, Jack Campbell. Telling you. A little Campbell soup in the end zone. I like Campbell, Hawks. too. He nice. The big turnover, their second he of the day. playing like DB. Jacobs. He looks like linebacker sometimes. The ball out. I like and him. Jack Campbell. Like an all-star shortstop, picked up the ground ball and raced into the end zone for the touchdown. Cyclones have four wideouts, three by one. And it's six five. Intercepted right that boy Jack Kimball six five. Yeah, knee him. Merry Christmas, Seth Benson. Benson. My goodness. Back to back turnovers caused by the Iowa defense. Bro, the Iowa was not one of them. Was just running, he was the underneath guy, just running a simple five yard route. And the ball That's the right thing, bro. Y'all think Iowa was sweet. Them boys not sweet. Everything they got over there is sweet as the corn, boy. I'm telling you. Cyclones are rushing everybody. Here comes the snap. Spot is down. Kick is on the way. It's certainly long enough. And it is good. He tucked it in the right upright. Caleb Shudak, Purdy throws to the sideline. It's deflected at the line of scrimmage and intercepted. And Need him again, man. Bro, bro, Iowa defense is not good. We, bro, they were eating. 
First game, Matt Hankins had two. Oh, it's no. First game, Riley, Ma Riley Moss had two. Then Matt Hankins had two. Don't play with him. But y'all know that I will produce like great DBs like uh, Desmond King. In the heat here, the wilting heat this afternoon at Jack Trice Stadium in Ames. Uh, one thing for sure, Eddie, these kids, both sides, left it out there. And whether it's easy or difficult or, or medium range difficult, a win is a win is a win. 27 17. Second and short. Here oh, comes yeah. Betts trying the left side. Has the first Old down. school take. Old school hawks. I like it. Let me see some. Dropped at the 48. Yeah. Iowa, big gainer of close to 20 for Lagarde. Oh, that's Betts. Actually, uh, I had a high school the teammate coach? by the name of Lex Rodopoulos who okay. committed to University of Iowa, I think, when I was a sophomore and he was a senior. So I was familiar with the Iowa football program. And Larry Holton was the running back's coach. We had the fresh fade, creamy skin, fade in the bite. He gets it on the sprint draw, Come on. has the first down yeah, as he bet. crosses the 45, still going, yeah, across midfield to the 48-yard so line of Indiana. He no, was stopped two or three times. State, you know, we had some, some rough years. I think when I first got here, you know, Iowa was always a pretty much a top 25 program, trying to, you know, pretty much going to bowls a lot of the time. So for us to kind of return back to what I considered normalcy was a good feeling. You always want to leave a place in, in a good position when you leave. So that, that felt good. That was a highlight for me. Yo, traditional unis, man. I'm loving it. They just a little bit more tighter now. He look hurt, dude. I would say my nine-year career was uh, unique. You know, not many people, I think, in Played life nine, get to live out their, their years, childhood like, dreams. I like it. And I was fortunate enough to do Running so. Running backs so don't last that long. Making to the NFL, it was, it, it was fun. Uh, there was definitely Some ups and downs long. in terms of wins and losses. Uh, probably more losses in Washington than, than, I, than I would like to have, but it was a fun time. Got a chance to play for quite a few coaches, especially Coach Gibbs, who's a Hall of Fame coach, and then got a chance to uh, finish my career down in New Orleans Okay. the year after they went to the Super Bowl and play alongside uh, guys like Drew the year Reed after them. play under uh, Sean Payton as a head coach, so it was, it was a fun time. No complaints, uh, and, and I had a great time. I wanted my boy to get a ring, man. Make sure you press me. Make sure you press me. You hear me, 20? Making that cut way too deep in the backfield. So you hear me, 20? There we go. Get all the way to me. Get all the way to me. So how did I end up with the offer here in Iowa? Well, I was starting to consider um, whether I wanted to move up uh, and coach. You hear me, 20? Whether it be college <laughs> pros. I had kind of toyed with the idea in my head over the years and never really settled, settled on an answer. And so one of the people I reached out to was Coach Ferentz, which is actually back in January of this year, 2021. And he and I had a conversation, not even about coaching here, but just coaching in general. Uh, I figured what better way to get an, uh, get an insight is than talking to someone that's been doing it for 22 years, you know, the pros and cons. So he and I had a conversation for 30 minutes just about the pros and cons of coaching. Um, and that was really it. Nothing about this job at the time had even come up because there was no job here. Look at Coach Kurt. I didn't so think he even was stuff like that. Fast forward a couple that. months oh, later. On I the find field. out that the running backs coach. He like wearing hoodies. I thought he could wear a hoodie every day he go to so practice or something. <laughs> I thought to myself, and I, and I talked to my wife about it, you know, should I should I really throw my name in the hat? And I did. So I, I threw my name in the hat and, and uh, submitted a, my application, my resume, and got a call back and went through the whole interview process and, you know, got a chance to come in front of the coaching staff. Man, they'll be a fool and I'll let you be a I'm running back coach, man. My presentation. And they called me back and said I got the job. So it was it was kind of uh, surreal how it all happened. It happened pretty quickly. Yeah, me, 20. Right His name, uh, Let me get the bags, Devin please. Hilson. Bags, bags, bags. Freshman. He from Iowa, too. Hopefully, just because he called him 20. Don't my make family's really. amazing. Golly. Uh, they, Is that all his kids? Joy. Like you said, I have five girls. Five uh, one girls boy. and one boy. Uh, it, it, like took to it, organized it took him. Hey, it, it, it took him. Hey, it took him five so, girls, bro, to get him a boy. A lot of finally, hustle and bustle, bro. A lot he was trying to. Hey, he was trying to have a son, bro. That have that many girls, bro. He was trying to have a son, bro. The younger ones with my wife are ages nine to three, so there's a lot going on in our household. <laughs> right arm carry, stiff arm, stiff arm, split in the back. Go. Good. Good. Using that off arm. Good. 
after being a player here and then getting a chance to come back, I never imagined coming back to Iowa. I, you know, when I left, I never thought I'd be back in Iowa City. Uh, and that's not a knock against yeah, Iowa City. Yeah, Iowa just, City. You know, I went to school here, never had any visions of ever moving back. But life has a funny way of working out that way, you know, um, uh, kind of coming full circle. Ooh, uh, I like that little. Coaching down in South Florida. That little juke station. And then this job came Hing. open, and here Ooh. I am. So it feels good to be back, you know. Kind but of cool Iowa, I like the way Iowa started. get down, even in practice. Faces, okay. Familiar people, familiar Yo, places. 20. So it, it's a good feeling being back. Devin Ellison, he going to be nice, man. Tyler Goodson breaks free. He's in midfield. He cuts to the near sideline. Yeah, he might be better than you, Coach, coach Bet. So I ain't gonna lie, TG was a demon. So Tyler Goodson, I he would is. describe him as multidimensional. Uh, he's a guy that doesn't really have to come off the field in any type of Might situation. be the best running back to come, run, come catch, from Iowa, to be honest. Come out of Iowa. He's from Georgia. Kelly. Ivory. Ivory Kelly Martin, I would describe as savvy. He's got the uh, veteran presence. He's the oldest uh, guy in the room. He's had a lot of playing experience, so he brings that calm, uh, mature uh, playing style to the room. Williams again running left, cutting it back to the right, pinballing off a couple of defenders. Gavin. Push the pile. Then this Gavin, is not Gavin would, Williams. Say reliable. Look, bro, finna have a target, bro. That boy, he got going over there. Alignment, effort guy. You know, usually is always in the right spot. Always knows what to, what to do, and he's gonna give you effort. Go. Man, so you ain't gonna talk Go. about the freshmen, huh? The fresh meats. <laughs> ain't gonna talk about the fresh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Them little just got an Iowa jersey before me, man. Hey, I like it. I like it. That's so nice, man. Children, man. Okay, inside the play. Uh, get to the top of the rock, gave him a little, little head fake, and uh, look at that boy Charlie Jones. <laughs> We're really uh, only I could go make a play on it. Um, so I ain't even gonna lie, bro. Good. I like the fact that good majority us, of the uh, players, the majority of the players who play with wide, Iowa, uh, they're from Iowa, bro. Outside. Like and, literally, if you look uh, at their we, roster, we knew coming into the game that bro, when everybody he was out is there, from he was Iowa, bro. That's really crazy. Promotion back inside. That job um, is really Iowa crazy. How many people come from Iowa? From there, it was they got one jit. Just playing football. Uh, Dane built in the uh, DB from Florida. Uh, the the run initially was going away from me, but uh, I, I knew I had contain on my side. Like I can't overcommit because if it cuts my way, uh, I can't let it get outside of me. And the run happened what to about come, bro come right, right back to me. Number so, five. Uh, I just took on the block. Got got off. Got to learn his name, made bro. Made the tackle. And, he I nice. Mean, I didn't even know it was a fumble at first. Justin Scratch Jacobs, yeah, man. Came out and I was just the one. Justin Jacobs, man. Get, get he from Ohio. That thing up and, and take it Crazy. And, um, so, um, that's a memory. Being, as being a being an Iowa kid, that's a memory that's going to last with me forever. Uh, second interception, got to give credit to Joe Evans. You know, he tipped it. And, you know, I was opening up, reading the quarterback. It got tipped and just broke on the ball. I was able to make a play. Got to give all glory to God for just the success that I had this past game. And yeah. Looking for more, hopefully. Yeah, right now, obviously, oh, that the rankings came out. And um, just just remembering to stay humble. Yeah. And just continue. Number to five in the nation now. Don't play with them boys. Week at a time. Going into week it, three, um, man. To Kent State right now. And just giving a little attention. Blast their ass. I'm talking about, I don't want them niggas to have 50 yards total, bro. I ain't even going to hold you. Uh, that's going to be a challenge, but just continuing to improve it. Uh, every week's the big challenge. What, what? Yeah, that being the best. What, what, what? Uh, yeah. Just continue to do that, and good things are going to happen. Yeah. This has been a presentation. So that's going to wrap up season three, episode three, The Heartland, man. So my comments, man, I feel like. This episode, bro, was like the last three episodes, man. They they very insightful, very informational, man. Like episode two was the one that that, that was that had the most informational, man. Had us got you know, really looking at teaching us about birds and skit. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm loving the Iowa Hawkeye culture, man. It's deeper than football, man. It's deeper. It's a brotherhood. You know what I'm saying? It's traditional. And like I said, bro, even when you look at the roster of the Iowa football team, bro, their majority of players are from Iowa, bro. Like 80 percent. And you hear a lot of them talk about it's a dream come true because this is what they have worked their life to, to. They all went to Kinnick Stadium probably before watched Iowa on TV. They all from Iowa, so. 
football is, has to be a big thing down there, bro. And I, I can't wait to really go to my first game at Kinnick, man. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a dream for me right, right now. I'm loving what Iowa got going, bro. That number five in the nation too, bro. After we even resurrected the boys on rebound, you know what I'm saying? So it's big on me too, bro. So hey, if y'all enjoying the content, man, let me know, bro. Like it up, comment, sub to the channel, man. You a Hawkeye Nation fan? To the next episode of the Heartland, bro. We gonna catch y'all up speed. Y'all already know it, bro. I got y'all.